Welcome channel. My name is Brad Supercoach Pro. Today we're just taking a quick look at round 21 AFL Supercoach preview. Now I've got a month of footy left and that is literally it for our classic and draft sides and whatnot. Uh, first week of the finals in most leagues as well. Season ranks coming together a little bit nicer. Um, in the last two weeks we've gone up in the ranks in terms of bringing it back down, I suppose. So we're at 8,788. Trying to catch a few people, um, as you probably saw my preview, but uh, sorry, my review last round. But anyway, just the short of it, we've got no trades. There's not a lot to speak about. Um, I'm doing a live stream, by the way, as well. I'm Super Coach Edge Sunday night after this game, uh, the 4:40 game. So I assume the stream will be around seven. Damo, he will be my guest on board, um, and then yeah, Liam, if he's available as well, I'd love to do. Uh, as best I'd love to do both of them. That sounds weird, but um, I'd love to do a live of both of them. Um, but if 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 uh, it's only Damo, that's fine too. Because yeah, it just should be really good. Um, it would just be like a lot of bands and whatever as well. Because at this time of year, people just sort of you know got no trades and not a lot of super coach chat. But there might be some AFL trade stuff that you guys want to discuss and and whatnot. So. Well, my, my Supercoach side as well, I haven't paid for – I haven't updated gold, so I can't actually look at the history for the last four or five weeks, which doesn't really matter because I'm, I'm pretty confident this week with two VC options, and this is why you're probably here. That or you're just a regular. But uh, McCurch is back in the side. But I'm actually thinking because Frazier hasn't been named um, and Sin hasn't been named, of course, I could just literally – Loophole McCurch with Dowling this week, and I'm probably just going to do that. Um, Sin's later on anyway, at 7:30 game, and what's what's to say that I don't sub off McCurch for you know three quarter time or something, or he starts to sub? Who knows? But anyway, I'm probably going to run a loop if I'm confident and he looks good in pregame. Um, I might just straight field him and use it. At, Dowling as an emergency in case there's a laid out with one of these guys, but it's it's never really the case. Like you normally you hear about it on Friday or Saturday on AFL.com. I don't really trust any other sources, um, unless it's literally by the press conference of the actual um, club. So example, I probably won't read into any different things unless Uze comes out and says something, etc. Anything that's not AFL.com, I'm not going to even look into it. I don't care if the journalist, reporter, some Twitter expert, none of that. Um, because I've been worried too too much of late. I've actually stopped listening to the media in the last four weeks, I reckon, um, because it's really hindered my VCs and Cs. And even if there's a way out, I just it's just nicer not to hear any news, to be honest. And less stressful that way. I I generally hate playing a, a format fantasy game if I'm stressed out every day, seeing something stupid that's not actually true. So. Um, yeah, like I said, unless the source is direct, I don't care. So VC Flanders for me is him or Bont really. Um, I'm thinking VC Flanders against West Coast. Kind of just makes more sense. Is it Optus though? Um, and then VC Bont potentially could be really good. I mean, it's a 7:15 game. I was I was expecting a 7:30 game here, so that's going to catch people off guard, I suppose. Um, and then I'm working Saturday, so I'm going to miss the Richmond North game. That's annoying. I'm playing for the number one draft pick here. So I really hope Tigers lose. Weird thing to say. But um Sheasel's captain, I think. Even if Graham goes to him, I'm pretty decided on that. I mean, I could go VC Sheasel, but with Jack Graham in the side, I'm probably not seeing like a I think his score comes down a little bit, maybe 20, 20, 30 points. Um, because they oh, I heard they put Seth Campbell to take off after quarter time and whatever, and that regressed his score quite heavily because he's on 70 at quarter time and only finished with 140. So he got 70 in the last three quarters. So that worries me a little bit. So um, if I was the VC hypothetically, she's or Cherry, Cherry was the original I was listening to, and then I, I was listening to Dr. Um, Dr. Supercoach, uh, Pig Mentality, and he was talking about some VC and C options. And he's the one I've been listening to a lot in the last two months, I reckon, for VCs and Cs. Um, um, so look, I'm, I'm not really confident in my Port Adelaide players to get the job done. Merritt, I don't trust at the moment for whatever reason. Steele, well, he's not going to kick three goals every game. Green, no thank you. Zorko is probably one if you wanted a Sunday matchup, but I'm not, I'm not keen on that. So for me, the obvious way, I'd rather, yeah, a Bont or, or Flanders VC into a Sheasel. Um, and I'm looking at Flanders, I think. That midfield role, sure, he just goes nuts. 
Uh, Bond hasn't been as impressive in the last three, four weeks, I want to say. Um, this will be the day he goes off, the day you don't even consider him um, on a Friday night. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't get a good gauge. He hasn't gone to 157 since North. Maybe there's a correlation here between Marvel. What's his Marvel scores? Maybe we'll just have a quick look. I've got to get ready for work. I start in like half an hour. His Marvel's better than his MCG scores. And he's playing at Marvel. Oh, gosh. Um, that's interesting. Oh, all right. I'm, I might just do a 60-second video um, if I decide to go Bont. So don't be surprised if you see me go Bont, Bont, <laughs> Bont into um, Sheasel. But for now, I'm just going to wait Flanders, see how we go. The only issue with Flanders is he doesn't have the highest ceiling like Bont can do, I suppose. And that's what it is. I mean, Flanders did just drop a 140, no doubt. Of course, I get that. Yeah, it's more casual. It's more 128. He's more safe C. You know what? I think we're just going to throw it on the Bont. I think looking at Marvel run, we've convinced us to just, and he's due for a big one, right? Like he's, it's Bond. He's got to take him on their back and just carry him home. So his MCG games at 126, 135, but his Marvel, what's his Marvel? 136, 110, 73, not great. 125, 142, 135, 186, 99, 162, 157. So if we order it, whoa. So I got really excited. His biggest scores, his four biggest scores are on Marvel. 186, 162, 157, 142. How about Flanders? Is he a home ground specialist or is he a way specialist now that he's in midfield? Let's have a look at that. This might be the deciding factor. Uh, to Optus. So he got a 117 against Optus. People's first. He goes, he's a home ground specialist more, maybe. He's consistent everywhere. It's a bit stupid to say, actually. We'll get at his scoring. People first. Well, that sort of makes more sense. His top two out of three scores have been at his home ground. Optus Stadium doesn't give enough data away. Maybe if this was a home game, you chuck it on Flanders. Let's just go Bont for the ceiling. I mean, he's he's 640K for a reason, right? And, uh, I feel like you can't go wrong out of any of these picks. His worst scores... Has he really dropped to 73? I don't remember that. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. I think we're convinced. That's how we're going to leave the team. McCurchill loop. Uh, Fish are not playing. That's fantastic. That's just typical Fisher antics. I had a choice a couple of weeks ago to flick Rao or Fisher for Steel, and I did, uh, obviously, Rao. And that's worked out nicely, but now I've got zero forward cover because Ridge is not playing again. And I can't do much. I mean, Dowling can cover... Some DPP guys like Flanders, Zorko, Heaney, and Mana. I suppose that's enough, really. That's four players he can cover, but he can't cover a, a Colonel and Jackson out, which is scary. Um, but look, we've got four weeks to go. Everyone's playing survival mode. Is what it is. That's my video, I reckon. I mean, Sheasel just seems the most obvious this week. It should have been more obvious. I was thinking Cherry in, in a live. I think it was the live of actually Edge. I was, I was jumping into the comments there and getting a bit excited. And uh, originally it was Cherry. And then I heard I think, Liam and Damo talk about Sheasel. And I thought, why didn't I think of that um, after what he's just been doing? So is this game at Marvel? I'd probably assume it is. It is. So what's this Marvel run like? 113, 128, 110, 73, 110, 120. Okay, the 141 and 138 is enticing. And they're around 19, 17. So it's fresher data there. Against Carlton too, that's good. Yeah, so that's what, that's what we're running with. Bont into Sheasel now. I've had a look at it. I really need to get ready for work. So give us a like if you did, did enjoy this. Uh, and I'll, yeah, catch you on the live stream Sunday night uh, with Damo from Supercoach Edge. Should be really good. Looking forward to that. So anyways, I'm out. Got to go.